Welcome to Real Talk with Reese, aka The Streets is Watching, aka The Podcast They Don't Want You Listening To, aka Did He Really Say That? This is your host Reese, let's get into it. So yeah, we back. Real quick, I just want to um, give a shout out to um, you know my listeners and supporters. You guys, um, you know, you gave me a lot of great feedback. Um, gave me a lot of you know awesome constructive criticism, and um, you know, I really appreciate it. I didn't, I didn't expect you know so much positivity, so much um, you know, kind words, and you know, like I said before, I definitely appreciate it. Um, one of the things that I heard, you know, on a consistent basis was, if you want to be taken serious, you want this thing to, you know, to go where it can potentially go, you got to improve, you know, your audio quality. So, um, you know, what I did was, I, I, I went ahead and I tried to do that. Um, you guys might hear, um, a bit of an improvement, and I want to give a shout out and a thanks to my boy Steven. You know, he's been doing this, you know, audio thing for a little bit, and you know, he's on um, his education in that field is, you know, a little bit more extensive than mine, and, you know, he definitely showed me a lot of love, and, you know, gave me, um, you know, a lot of great information, helped me, you know, more or less put forward what I'm hearing right now, um, again, this is a work in progress, this is something that is not, you know, set in stone yet, it's, it's in its infancy, this is my, this is my second part of the first episode. This is not something that is going to be consistent in terms of how I do episodes. I'm going to, you know, going forward, I'm going to just give you one whole episode. I'm not going to do parts. But I'm glad I did do a part because now you get to see the difference. You know, I was able to get my constructive criticism. I was able to get my feedback. And now, you know, I can give you, you know, something better than what you got, you know, in the first part. So, moving on. The topic I had, you know, we discuss love versus lust, you know. The question of loyalty and where does that fall in, you know, between both situations. I think in the first episode we left off with discussing, you know, females and, you know, I mentioned, I mentioned females, that's why I'm predominantly discussing females, but, you know, this is kind of interchangeable. If you are a woman, you know, you're one of my, you know, lady listeners, you can apply the same logic to men because at the end of the day, men behave in the same men as females do nowadays. They 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 out here doing things that females generally do. So and then you know, like I said before, it's not something that is exclusive to one gender, one crowd of people. You know, have you identify yourself? This information will apply to you. Um, but in terms of me, I deal with females. So how females act when the situation occurs where they take things to the next level, and the battle that they have within themselves. When you take that next step, when you guys do have sex, when it does get physical, the clock begins on your freedom. If you a dude, you know this. Especially if you do it and you know what you're doing and you do it well. The clock now begins on your freedom. That blissful time period you had prior, it's the beginning of the end. You might as well wrap it up. It's over. Like it's it's over. It's a dub. At this point, for whatever reason, this woman now feels whatever happiness you guys had before, prior, whatever, it has to concentrate. It has to become even more serious. It has to become even more pronounced. In her mind, it becoming more serious, more pronounced would be getting into a relationship, putting that pressure on you. Whether that pressure comes from her, whether it comes from societal norms, whether it comes from friends, who knows where it comes from, but it's here and it's coming. This is my issue. As men, we're, we're, we're supposed to be leaders. We're supposed to be, you know, the strong, you know, the, the, the more, I would say, you know, the leader. We're supposed to be the, the, the more, the bigger presence in the situation. You know, what we say, you know, shouldn't matter. You know, what we say, it, it, it should, it should, you know, ring bells. If you see that, those behaviors changing, you see that, you know, the questioning happening. You see the the attitude brewing. You see the you know the the, the beginning stages of a relationship forming, and that's not something that you want. What do you do as men? You ignore that shit because that's what we do. You know, I don't do that shit no more. But I was one you know 
was somebody who did that shit and, you know, was just satisfied and was okay with having some consistent ass and, you know, she's not bad to look at and she's, she's cool, I'm going to just give her what she wants just so I can keep hitting that shit. You're playing yourself. Extremely. You're playing yourself. Because you're, you, you, whether you realize or not, you're showing weakness. You're showing weakness by her moping, complaining, whining like she is supposed to do. And you conforming to those mopes and complaints and those whines. It's going to, it's going to prolong and it's going to, it's going to, it's going to grow, you know, as time goes, as goes on, it's going to get worse. Because at that moment when you were tested, you didn't put your foot down. You let it be what it was and you let it continue to get worse now like I said before <laughs> at that point the blissful phase is done you know, she's no longer loyal to you in terms of making you happy and getting to know you and not making us look crazy she's now loyal to how she looks or how she's perceived with her friends and to herself whatever insecurity that you didn't see that she had before oh it's prevalent now you know, you need to put your glasses on, you can see them. You know, you like I said in the first part, you know, you usually text at 11.40, 11.45. You start texting at 12.30. She got a time on you. What took you so long? Why you ain't sending me a good morning text? It's now the afternoon. Well, maybe it's just because I'm not on nobody's schedule, I'm not on nobody's time. I'm a human being, I'm a grown man, I have responsibilities. She doesn't care. She doesn't care because... At this point, she feels since she gave you what both of y'all wanted, you're you indirectly. If you don't realize it or not, you're you're essentially paying for it. You're paying for it with entertaining her bullshit in her mouth, or her complaining and all that nonsense. You set the standard, you know. And then you can't blame nobody but yourself. People wonder why do we go from being so cool and so happy that honeymoon phase, and then boom, it's over. It's not over because of her. She's going to do what she's going to do. She's going to be a female. It's over because of you. Like, you ain't stay solid. You ain't you, you ain't set your foundation. You ain't show your alpha male, you know, spirit. You ain't you ain't do none of that. You, you conform. Once you conform, one, two, three, four times, at this point, you might as well be a kept man. And whatever attraction she had towards you in the beginning is going to wane. It's going to go by the wayside. It's not going to be as, 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 as concentrated and as prevalent it was in the beginning. Because at the, end of the beginning, she was courting you. She was courting you. She wanted to see, you know, how far this is going to go. How far before she can get you. Once they get you, bro, you're gotten. It's very hard to get out of that gotten stage and become solid again. You either stay solid from the beginning or you drown. You can't go from being Steph Curry. To being Frank Nelikina. Like, it that doesn't work like that. I didn't go back to being Steph Curry. No, bro. That's not how it is. You're going to be Steph from day one. You're going to be Steph to the end. And the end can mean when you're done with her. That's the end. The end is not when she leaves you. The end is when you're done with her. And you being done doesn't mean that she is physically no longer in your life. You can just get rid of those emotions and be moved on to the next situation. And she's still there serving whatever purpose that she's serving. You know, it's up to you because you're the alpha male. You're the champ. I definitely understand. I get my female listeners right now is probably like, I hate this nigga. I can't stand him. There's no reason to feel that way. At the end, like I said before, this is not exclusive to just men. If you are somebody that enjoys the bliss, if you're somebody that enjoys that happy stage, you you know what you need to do to keep that stage going. Men end up in that same place. Men end up in that same spot to where. Once they get it, they become hooked. They become thirsty. They start losing themselves. They start acting different. They start with the way you at. Who's that? What's your social media? I want to see your page. Niggas start doing that shit too. It's not exclusive to women. At the end of the day, everything is neutral. Everybody's gender free. Yeah, everybody is gender free now. Because you got niggas acting like females. The females acting like niggas. It's, it's, it's non, you know, it's non monolithic. Like at the end of the day, it's... Your situation is your situation. So my female listeners, I don't want y'all being salty. I don't want y'all rolling your eyes. Females that know me personally, I don't want y'all talking shit about me and, and not being my friend no more. Y'all gonna be all right. Just open your eyes. I'm living, you know, in a box, in a scope. When I'm directly saying, 
you know, as a man, I'm a man. When I'm speaking as a man, as a man, but it can apply to you as well. Let's not take this personal. You know, let's all grow and eat together. Support me, I support you. Regardless of what my opinions are. Because at the end of the day, these are opinions. I just think my opinions are, you know, somewhat factual. But like I said before, we all want to just more or less get to a point in time and get to a point with ourselves that we are doing what we want to do. We are comfortable and compelled to have a situation with a, you know, a person that we're interested in the way we want to have it. We shouldn't have to feel like we have to be in a relationship. We shouldn't have to feel like we have to, you know, settle and not speak up on things or not, you know, bring up certain type of beliefs or certain type of feelings that we have in the specific situation. We got a man up. We got a woman up. We got to speak up, you know, in terms of how we feel and stop letting society and other factors determine how we do things. You never know what your situation could be if you show a little bit of honesty and you be open and upfront in what you're doing. You know, not for nothing, the more honest you are with women, you'll probably get what you want from them. You're giving them, you know, the, the, the peace of mind that, you know, this nigga's not a liar. And with women, if you're honest with men, you tell me situation from, from, from the jump, and this is what you can do, is what you can do, is what you're interested in, what you're not interested in, it alleviates trauma and stress and nonsense in the, in the long run if you solid and you're dealing with a solid person. If you're dealing with a front, if you're dealing with a fake, you're dealing with a phony that acts like they one way, you get to know them and you get them what they want, you you, you do what you want to do with them, whatever it is you want to do, then those different characteristics start to come out that you didn't see or foresee in the beginning, that's on you. Because you can't let anybody into your life. You got you to gotta look at those red flags. You got to see, you know what? I don't know if she could do this. I don't know if he could do this. I'm going to keep it pushing. That's just a reality. That's, 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 that's when it comes to person or people you're dealing with. That's when it comes to friends. That becomes to colleagues. That becomes, you know, that, that you got to have that type of mindset with everybody. Like, that's not something that, you know, you should keep exclusive to, you know, relationships. No, that's with everyone in your life. Got to have that, that type of mindset to keep yourself out of shit. You know, that, that can potentially happen in the long run. But, like I said before, this is something that, um, you know, is is, is, is a really something something that I really believe in. That I, you know, I really, I'm, I'm really somebody that feels if you're upfront and you're honest from the get-go, you'll get ultimately what it is that you want. Whatever type of situation, whatever type of relationship that you need or that you want. And, you know, you feel a certain way about a certain situation, leave. If, if you're starting to see that, you know, this person is not what they portrayed to be, dip. There's so much more out there. Especially concerning the fact that if you're not exclusive, you're not exclusive. You can talk to five, six girls at one time. And ladies, that goes for you as well. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't want to, you know, basically more or less deal with someone like that. But I can't, I can't knock your hustle. You know, at the end of the day, you're, you're a single individual. You do and move the way you want to move. This is not exclusive to one gender. This is this goes for all parties involved. Get out how you live. You move the way you want to move. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you get out of it, you get out of it. Just make sure you're happy and you're fulfilled. If you're not happy and you're fulfilled, you lose and you're tricking yourself. And if you're losing yourself, you're tricking yourself, you, you, you know, what, what, what are you living for? You get one life. You ain't gonna come back the same person, same way. Live it up to its its highest potential, its highest order. Do what you wanna do. Don't do what society deems for you to do. But if you're an individual and you're not a firm believer in relationships and you want somebody down for you or you want something you wanna rock out with somebody and you want all these things, you let that be known. Cause at the end of the day, you never know how what the future could hold. My whole premise and my whole point of this episode in general, in this podcast in general, was fighting the narrative. Going against what's what's you know, what what we're supposed to do. I'm not I'm not a believer in that. I'm gonna believe in doing what we wanna do to ultimately make um, ourselves happy. Make ourselves the healthiest and, you know, the best people we can possibly be. If you're in a situation where you wanna be with somebody but not be with somebody, let it be known. You know, you never know who you're talking to. You never know who you're dealing with. And you want to keep that happiness, that blissful stage prolonged. You got to do what you got to do and, and be a stand-up individual. You got to, you know, listen. 
I'm not for that relationship stuff. It's not for me. Don't ask me about it. Don't conform. Because you're going to be an unhappy person that's conforming with another person that's doing something that they want to do that you don't want to do. Neither parties are happy because at the end of the day, this person might have gotten the title. They might have gotten, you know, the name. But at the end of the day, they know that deep down inside, you're not invested. You're not enthralled with it. You're not with that. So, subconsciously, they, they, they're they going to be in a situation where they know this person doesn't really want this. But I'm still going to try to force this person into this. We hustling backwards, man. It's 2019. We got to be doing what we got to do. We got to do what we want to do. We got too much factors, too much things out here in this world. And, you know, this country, for the most part, that is adversaries of us and our people. We should be able to sit here and have a decent relationship, whatever your definition, whatever that looks like. Albeit, it might seem problematic to you or, you know, to the other person in the beginning. But try it out. Do what you want to do for once. Have that, have that nice, you know, situation with somebody where you're not worrying about this title or what that person believes or what that person says. Do what ultimately you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, this has been part two. Um, this is the end of this episode. I am trying to have a weekly episode, you know, an episode on a weekly basis for you guys. Um, different topics every week, but since, you know, these type of conversations are broad, we will touch on it again. We will circle back and, you know, have a similar type of conversation in the coming weeks because it's just it, it's just going to be natural. It is what it is. I don't know what we'll be discussing next week, but it's going to be something interesting. Probably trying to shake it up. I don't know yet. That's to be determined. But um, I just want to touch on what I spoke on earlier. You know, I definitely thank everybody who's who listened I want everybody to continue to listen. I want everybody to, you know, put their opinions. Hit me up on social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm I'm on Twitter to a lesser extent. Let me know how you feel. Um, Let me know what your opinions are. Let me know if you hate me. Let me know if you fuck with me. Let me know if you think, you know, this would be better if I did it this way. Let me know about the audio quality of your opinions. Like I said, this is infancy. I'm still learning, I'm still trying to get this going to where it needs to go, and I can only get better if, you know, I hear you guys' feedback. If you come to my comments and say, the audio sounds like shit, I hate you, motherfucker, get the fuck out of my fucking podcast app, you suck. I want that, I love it. But I also love positivity as well, so just let me know. I appreciate everything, I'll see y'all next week.